今天我们学一些关于车的一些实用句子和词汇。Oh. Let's start with the outside of the car. Right in front of us, we have the windshield and a pair of windshield wipers. The car hood protects the engine and internal parts from dust, dirt, and rain. If we check under the hood, we see the engine, battery, the brake fluid reservoir. Fuse box and a whole bunch of other important car parts. Now, if we put down the hood, right underneath it are the grill, headlights, indicator lights, and front bumper. Now, let's check out the side of the car. We see the fender, wheels, tires, gas cap cover, and of course, the doors. To open the door, simply pull on the handle. There is a side view mirror on each side of the car to help you see any cars next to you or behind you. The rear of the car shows the car make and model. This is the rear bumper, and on each side are the tail lights, brake lights, and turn lights. Let's open up the trunk lid and see what's inside the trunk. There's plenty of storage space, and underneath the trunk mat, you will commonly find a spare tire, jack, and lug wrench used to replace a flat tire. The first thing you should always do is fasten your seatbelt. Every car has a brake pedal, gas pedal, and gear selector. If your car is manual, it will also have a clutch pedal. To start your car, step on a brake pedal. And hold the engine start-stop button. For older cars, step on the brake pedal and turn your key clockwise. To go backwards, put the car in reverse using the shifter or gear selector and step on the gas. To go forwards, put the car in drive and step on the gas. To drive really fast, floor it. Put the pedal to the metal. To slow down, gently step on the brakes, and to stop, suddenly slam on the brakes. Drive safely and always keep your hands on the steering wheel. You can honk the horn to get another driver's attention. Look into the rearview mirror to see what's going on behind you. On the dashboard, you'll find the speedometer, tachometer, odometer, engine coolant temperature gauge, fuel gauge, turn indicators, gear shift position indicator, seat belt warning light, parking brake warning light, and engine malfunction lights. If it's nice out, you can roll down your windows using the controls located on the side of the door to enjoy the refreshing breeze. Many cars also have a sunroof or moonroof to let more sunlight into the car. Go buy yourself a Starbucks iced coffee, place it in the cup holder here, and turn on the AC using the ventilation controls to cool down on a hot summer day. You can also connect your phone to your car, listen to your favorite music, and access the GPS through the infotainment display. Your car manuals and important documents can be stored in the glove box, which is right in front of the passenger seat. If you have an emergency, turn on your hazard lights by pressing this button. And if you park on an incline, don't forget to pull up on the emergency brake. But remember to always release it before driving again. Okay, guys, that's it for today. As always, thank you so much for watching, and always remember to drive safely. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, follow, and comment. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.